Yo, what is up guys, JD0 bringing you a Pokemon Wi-Fi battle against Cheesecake aka Pokemon Trainer, his link be down in the description down below, he's a Pokemon, a Poketube, I mean not a Poketube, he's a Poke, Poke Amino follower, uh, he, he wanted to challenge me to a battle I, after I requested some battles on a Pokemon Amino. You can, you know, request battles to me at a Pokemon Amino if you want to have a battle and be, you know, featured on on the channel. Uh, definitely hit me up on a Pokemon Amino. That's where I usually get more requests for Pokemon battles. If not, Twitter. Also, follow me on Twitter just to do that as well. But look at the teams that we have here. Um, basically, as you can see, I fix up my recording software so now you can see me also and uh, be able to watch a get recorded battle as well but I designed a polygon Z team I probably need to get a little bit more work onto it to see what I need to change into the team uh, but he's but, but basically cheesecake is actually bringing some of the uh, most of the uh, Gen 1 style teams and the, the Gen 5 and plus the Gen 3 team. Uh, I mean, Gen 3 Pokemon basically. So he has a wide diversity of Pokemon here. Uh, he wanted to use all generation Pokemon. I think, yeah, you could go ahead and use all generation Pokemon. It's just you can't use legendaries and you can't use Ultra Beast. That's all I ask. So we did this match. We're gonna go ahead and get into the match, but it was a very interesting match that we had here today. Uh, let's just—I'm just gonna go into it, honestly. But like I said, guys, if you guys love the fact that I finally get this face cam and shit working correctly, and the fact that I got majority of everything working correctly, got my recording working correctly. Uh, right now, I got Witchy's music in the background playing and everything. It just, it's just crazy how I finally got stuff to finally work for me to record. Finally work for me. Uh, I might. I don't know what else is gonna happen, but it's gonna happen. So, he had his uh, Marowak. Well, not his Marowak now, but. He started off with the uh, Rotom Wash. I started off with my Galvatula. I was able to get a what you call it? What was it? What was the word? I was able to get Sticky Web off. A Toxic on his Switch in was his Marowak. Then I sent out Adnanetti, and I was trying to go for at least. A did, wait, did I go for EQ? I think I went for the EQ and he switches out into his bus, so he's in his bus, so he sticks the EQ. Let's just see, let's just see right here. Yep. So, knowing the fact that the Blastoise did take an EQ, I feel like I should have went for another EQ and not get the Toxic off because at least the EQ would have did a little bit more damage. But also, I feel like I should have went for the uh, Z move tossing and get the boost, the defense boost. So I would have been a little bit higher in, in defenses. Plus, I'll try to shut off even more EQs to the Blastoids. So then he decided to. Uh, also, I think it was he also switched his Blastoids out. When I try to switch out my uh, Diglett, thinking that he would probably use any like skull moves or you know any water moves, and then he ends up switching his his Blastoise out. When I switched into a uh, Paul the Slowbro, then he switched into his Rotom Wash. When I was like, you know what, let me just go ahead and switch out into Marowak just in case he goes for a Volt Switch does go for the vote switch so I was like okay cool 
people. That's that's all they need. That's all they need to deal with. Now he goes into his hydreion and I go for a shadow bone. Shadow bone doesn't do as much damage as it needs to. Honestly, I feel like if I go for a brutal swing, maybe it does a little bit more damage. Maybe I shouldn't have switched out into my uh, my Eric Dactyl, but I was like, you know, whatever, it's cool. I'll switch out into my Eric Dactyl. Eric Dactyl took so much damage from my Dark Pulse. I don't even think it should even deserve that much damage. Um, but he decided to switch out his. Uh, Hydreigon because I think he was expecting me to go for an ice thing because it does run because you know Eric Dux is usually known for running ice things so that was a good play on his part to switch out I think he was probably either fearing the ice thing or fearing the fact that I had Stone Edge either or I should have went for another uh, ice thing onto the Galvantula but I was like that didn't do as much as the first time. Then I feel like I should have went for the taunt this turn. And I was like, you know what? Forget it. I'm at 7 HP. I go for the stone edge. He didn't go for another sucker punch. And I'm living on 7 HP. He does switch into his Blastoise. And I'm like, I'm looking at my best and like, man, what's up, mascot? What you doing? How you been? He goes for a dark plus, takes out the, you know, Eric Dactyl. I was like, okay, my Blastoise is putting in work. Even though it's his Blastoise, but my Blastoise is putting in work. So, I get to the point where, you know, let me try out to use uh, Paul again. See what Paul could do. And I was like, oh, shit, can a Hidden Power Grads take out a uh, Blastoise? Well, he goes sets up for a, you know, toxic, and I was like, bruh, why? Why set up a toxic onto my paw? And I was like, okay, you know, can the grassman take it out? Nope. The kitten power grass can take out the blastoids. I was like, oh, this is sad. This is a very sad day. And now I'm poisoned. He's poisoned. Or a bow poison, and there's nothing we could do. He goes for a dark pulse, does a pretty good amount of damage. I get the flinch. I'm thinking, should I switch out? Should I switch out? Should I switch out? Because if I switch out, and there's another dark pulse, the chances of me surviving and the chances of me not surviving that's that's all I concern about is switching out or not switching out. Now I get another poison drop. I'm like, oh, this is hurting. This is hurting my paw right now. He switches it to his Marowak. Now this is where I'm thinking, like, maybe I should have switched out into my Marowak 